This is the devotional for Monday, March 8th. Scripture is Exodus 16, 4 through 12. The small verse is Exodus 16, verse 4. I am going to rain bread from heaven for you, and each day the people shall go out and gather enough for that day. Bread from heaven. Bread from heaven, my friend would say, when something needed appeared, be it money to pay a bill or a dress on sale in her side. Bread from heaven. God is good and right on time. I, in my privilege, would ascribe such happenings to luck or wouldn't ascribe them to anything at all. Yes, the dress on sale is in my size and darn if it doesn't look good on me too. Today is my lucky day. I would think or say or simply take it to the counter and pay. Gratitude not part of the process. My friend who talked about being too blessed to be stressed and told me when I expressed worry to give it to the Lord in prayer saw bread raining down from heaven everywhere. School supplies donated to the PTA bread from heaven. A parking spot close to the building on a rainy day bread from heaven. A job offer, rebate, or help with her kids, all bread from heaven. While I admired her ability to see downpours of loaves, I confess I also inwardly rolled my eyes and wondered if she was stretching the biblical metaphor. After all, if you read the account in Exodus, the morning manna came predictably every day from God, not unexpectedly out of nowhere. Moses told the people of God would provide all the bread they wanted, and God did. They didn't get an inadvertent overpayment from the electric company in the mail on the very day the rent was due, in just the amount they needed. They got exactly what they expected, day after day. They even came to complain about the repetitiveness of the provision before long. They took it for granted and wanted more and other. They forgot to give thanks, be surprised by grace, delighted by tangible signs of care, profuse in their gratitude. They got complacent and comfortable and forgot that every day bread from heaven is worth rejoicing over every single day. They forgot that bread from heaven should surprise us every single day. They came to forget that everything, absolutely everything, from just dresses to job offers, from breath to day at a beach, is, in fact, bread from heaven. A blessing, something worth celebrating. A truth my friend knew well. I think I'll call her and thank her for bearing witness to God's grace and goodness, for being a model of gratitude and joy, for reminding me to put away my grumbling complacency and give thanks instead. I have not talked to her in a long time. She'll probably tell me I called at just the right moment. She'll tell me God is good and right on time. She may even say bread from heaven. Here are some questions for reflection. Number one, when have you thought of something as bread from heaven? What was it? What did you label it as such? Number, number two, what do you take for granted? Today, try to see everything as a gift from God and give thanks. Make note of how you feel as you do so. How was the day different as a result? Let's pray. God of heaven and earth, in you we live and move and have our being. Everything we have comes from you. Every breath, every moment, every relationship, every provision. The earth is yours and all that is in within it. Help us this day to marvel at your lavish care for us and hear our thanks as we gather the bread from heaven and give us every single day. You give us every single day. Amen. This is the word of the Lord.